Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Over the last year, I've had quite a few people ask me the same question. How do I land a client if I want to do a commercial for them in Blender? This is the start of a series where I try to take you through the real unfiltered process of trying to land a client and I'll take you on every step along the way. Just because you're using a free application doesn't mean that you're making the commercial for free. It will cost you your time and your time is value. If you spend 200 hours making a commercial and you get paid $1,000, then you get $5 an hour, and that's a bad salary for a 3D artist. So doing these episodes, I will be tracking my time simultaneously so that I can keep you in the loop of how much time actually goes into finding a client, writing the emails, edits, everything. That way you'll get a clear idea of what is actually fair to charge for a commercial, especially if you're just starting out. So I will try to make a step-by-step -step guide and then I will test it to see if it actually works in the real world. And you'll be with me for the whole journey, even if I fail. Because I don't know that yet, because the series starts today. And it's Sunday, which is a bad day for sending an email. But still, let's go. Reaching out. Before you start reaching out, it's a great idea to put together a portfolio that showcases some of your best work. It's also a great idea to make a specific portfolio targeted to the brands that you want to work with. Let's say you want to do a beverage commercial, then it's a great idea to show that you can make beverage commercials. This helps the potential client to immediately visualize how your style and skill can apply to their own brand. So that was just what I did. I put together a portfolio and this is what is included. My Pepsi commercial. Max space, <clears throat> max taste, no sugar. My Carlsberg commercial. Carlsberg, for the king, probably. A commercial I did for a brand called Wally & Wiss. And then also a Danish commercial, but that's only for the Danish clients. You can check out my commercials on YouTube, but for now, I'll just move on. Brands that need content. So step one is to identify brands that might need content. And how do you do that? Well, a great idea is to look on Instagram or LinkedIn. You can look for uh, inactive social media. Maybe they have very little engagement, a few likes, only a few comments, or maybe they have no video content at all. These are all signs that they could really benefit from your offer. So which companies are a good idea to focus on? Well, I would say local businesses, and this is just because you can literally go there and ask them if they need any content. And that is always way better than sending an email because emails could end in their spam folder. Maybe they don't really respond to emails. So going to a local business, it could be a coffee shop, it could be, well, anything really. Showing yourself, be like, hey, could you use some promotion? I would love to do maybe one for free the first time, and then you can start a collaboration that way. Another idea could be to target startups. And this is because they maybe don't have the time or the money to have someone full-time creating their commercials, so they could really benefit from having a freelancer like you do a commercial once in a while. So where do you find these brands? You don't need any fancy tools to find the brands. They're not hiding from you. You can literally go to Instagram or LinkedIn. Let's say you want to do a commercial for a coffee shop. Then you can search for the hashtags like coffee shop near your area. And then there will probably come up some pictures and then you can check out their content ask them if they need any promotion. And it's the same on LinkedIn. You can search for marketing manager or anything like that. And then you'll see the brands who is in need of a marketing manager. Or maybe you can search for content creator hashtags on LinkedIn, and then you'll find the brands who are looking for a content creator. And that is just brands looking for someone to do their commercials. So now you wanna reach out to the client. First off, I wanna say there's no secret to the perfect email, but don't just copy paste the same email to all companies, make it personalized. So if you have a brand that makes beverages, maybe you love this brand already, maybe you are a user of that brand, then open by saying, hey, my name is whatever your name is. I love drinking Pepsi Max every day and I have these great ideas for your brand. That already has so much soul compared to, hey, my name is this, I wanna do commercials for you. Really think how you can be warm and professional at the same time. Then you should let them know that you've been researching their brand. This is very important because otherwise it would just seem like a standard email. So maybe you can say, I've seen that you're selling this product and you haven't really gotten any video material. Could you be interested in me making a video for you? Or I've seen that your pictures have a lack of quality or, but of course you don't have to be negative about their brand, but you can point out if they have something about their brand that doesn't work. You have to remember that you are a professional. So your voice is important. You add value to their brand. You can't say 
if you've noticed something that doesn't work, because then you can improve it. The third thing you have to include in your email is saying how you can add value. I would say, hey, my name is Jens, I'm from Denmark, and I've seen your brand and I have these great ideas that I think would really align with your audience. And don't be afraid to share your ideas, because you don't have a job yet. On one hand, you can get the job and they love your idea. If you don't get the job and they use your idea, I guess that's great. You know that you're onto something. But don't be afraid to share a little storyboard or share some of your ideas. It's not a secret. You have to play with open cards because that way you seem trustworthy, professional, and they probably will be more impressed with all the work that you've put into this. So how do you wrap up your email? You should make a call to action. And a call to action meaning maybe we should grab a meeting, maybe we can go drink a cup of coffee, should I send over three ideas which you can evaluate on and then give me feedback? You should always end an email with them having to do something. Because otherwise it would just be an email they could ignore or they will just read it and be like, oh, I don't have to answer this. But if you send out a call to action, they're more likely to answer you. And of course you have to include a link to your portfolio. So after writing the mails, you have to send it out to the companies. And here are the companies which I've reached out to. And I don't know if they want me to do a commercial for them yet, so I'm not even sure if this series will work or not. And this is the example of the mail that I sent to Batman Energy. You can use this as a template, or you can just see what I did. So guys, that was it for this video. That is how I reach out to clients. I hope you got something out of this, and I hope you will follow me for the next episode to see if I actually land a client by sending these emails. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.